When parents split up, many children end up shuttling back and forth between homes. It's an experience my next guest, Aisha, knows very well. Her parents lived in completely different environments, but she says that experience gave her the ability to adapt to almost any situation. Aisha says it also pushed her to excel in her education and career. However, there's one area of her life that remains a serious challenge. Just give me a couple hours and I will finalize that website. I've been working in the technology industry as a web designer and developer. I am a woman of color who pursued STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's something that I, I take pride in. I love that I work in a field that makes a difference, but sometimes I do feel very uncomfortable taking these calls with my colleagues because my skin issues are very severe and then affecting my confidence. What bothers me most about my skin is the hyperpigmentation, meaning when I get pimples, they scar, leaving these dark spots. Why can't I be, you know, 100% beautiful? When I look in the mirror and it's on my cheeks, my forehead, yeah, my skin feels dull. There's no type of glow. and can also be very dry at times. To deal with my hyperpigmentation, I use foundation every second of the day. I am trying different topicals, pills, and nothing has worked. Very frustrating. If I can get these dark marks off my face, I can go back to being my happy, confident, sexy self. Well, joining me are Aisha and Elaine Swan, lifestyle expert and spokesperson for Olay. So thank you both for being here. <laughs> so Aisha, at only 25, your drive and ambition are really inspiring, but it sounds like your childhood was a challenge. So tell me about that. It was definitely difficult at times. Uh, my parents lived apart and while I loved them both, um, I was constantly back and forth. My mom lived in the inner city, and in that environment, you don't really see a lot of people going to college or being successful. On the other hand, you have my father who lived in the suburbs um, and really knew the importance of having a great education. And he's actually a big part of why I am in STEM today. Well, I'm sure both of your parents have got to be really proud of you, and you should be proud of yourself, are you? Absolutely. You know, I really take pride in being a black woman in STEM. Um, being in the technology space, but unfortunately there is an area of my life that I'm not as confident in and proud of, and that's, you know, my skin. Um, I've been suffering <clears throat> from skin issues since I was 14. Um, it's dull, dry, and I've been, you know, having these hyperpigmentation spots, um, which are just dark marks, right? So um, I don't feel as confident, I don't feel as sexy, um, and it's something I feel I didn't, you know, I wish I didn't feel, if that makes sense. Um, but you know, people look at you and they see your face. So it's something that I'm just very self-conscious about. Our body image, our self-image vary together. And they shouldn't. I mean, we're not a better person if we look better than if we don't, or if our weight's the way we want it to be, or it isn't. We're the same person inside, but to us, we're not. And if our confidence is shaken, then that causes us to feel different about ourselves. We present differently. So it really has an impact. So we have to take care of ourselves on the inside and the outside at the same time. So Elaine, what advice would you have for Aisha? Well, first Aisha, I want to start off by saying it is so great to see a young woman in STEM because women are still not as represented in the tech world right now. So yeah. we love that for That's you. That's really cool. Absolutely. Now for your confidence, I have some things that I believe can be of great help for you, all right? As Dr. Phil said, our confidence does definitely start from the inside, but there are a few things that you can do outwardly to help build that self-confidence. So what specifically would you recommend for her? Well, I have two products to recommend for you, Aisha. You say that your skin looks dull and uneven, and for that, I really like Olay's Vitamin C Moisturizer. Now, the brand says when you use it twice a day for 28 days, your skin will appear two times brighter than a basic moisturizer. Okay. okay, so that's a good thing. Now, here's the thing that's really, really great. This, I love this because what's really cool is when you put it on, it doesn't leave a greasy residue on your skin. But when studied on 22 women, they found after 24 hours, this offered better hydration than a $400 cream. 
Okay. Okay. That's so amazing. You're going to save some money okay, there. Okay, a lot of money. <laughs> you said you had two recommendations. I do. And it's all about hydration. And the other product I like for Aisha is Olay's Retinol 24 Night Moisturizer. It renews your skin so it looks and feels smoother and hydrated. So what do you think? I'm excited to try these new products. Um, I feel like I've been just wearing makeup and foundation for so long, so having something to actually, you know, take that away is an amazing feeling. Oh, so, that's good, that's good. Excited. Okay, well thankfully, you can get both of these products at Olay.com and at retailers nationwide, all right? <laughs> but don't go shopping yet. Okay. Because we're giving you a year's supply. Oh. There you go. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, and, Thank you. And guess what? Everyone in our studio audience and virtual audience will receive a gift from Olay as well. So. <laughs> Thank all of my guests today, and a special thanks to Elaine Swan and to Olay.